So the next inequality that I would be solving is this one, right? It's very similar to the one that we did uh, in the previous class. Only difference is this 2 minus 3x. It was 3x minus 2. So let's start from the point where the difference starts. We have to make the coefficient of x equal to 1, right? So what do we do? We write this as x minus 1, x minus 5, and take minus 3 as common. It becomes x minus 2 by 3 greater than or equal to 0. I have made this greater than or equal to just to make it a little different from the previous problem. So, in the previous example, we got a 3 outside. Here we have got a minus 3. In the previous example, we had removed the 3 without any problem. Can we do the same thing over here? Remember, a very important concept over here. This symbol shows that it's a very important problem. A bulb, electric bulb is glowing. You have to remember this. We know, I'm giving you an example from real numbers. We know 5 is greater than 3. Can I multiply minus 1 on both sides of an inequality? If we do that, it becomes minus 5 greater than minus 3. But this is completely wrong. In an equality or in, while solving an equation, let's say there is an equation something like this, 5 equal to x minus 2. You can multiply both sides by minus 1. There is no problem. You can do that. But in an inequality, if you multiply both sides of an inequality by minus 1, you have to change the sign. 5 is greater than 3. If you multiply by minus 1 on both sides, it becomes minus 5 less than minus 3. This has a very important implication, okay? In inequality, whenever you multiply on both sides, if it is a positive number, if you are sure that it's a positive number that you are multiplying on both sides, you can keep the sign intact. But if you are sure that you are multiplying by a negative number, you have to change the sign. So, removing minus 3 from here is equivalent to multiplying by minus 1. So, for the next step, it has to be x minus 1, x minus 5. If you are now removing minus 3, then it becomes x minus 2 by 3 less than or equal to 0. That's a very important step in this particular problem. Whenever you are removing a negative number in an inequality, you have to flip the sign from greater than or equal to to less than or equal to. You can also think of it as you are multiplying minus 1 on both sides. If you multiply by minus 1 on both sides, this becomes 3 and the sign changes. Once it becomes 3, you can remove it, right? Something similar is happening. Most importantly, remember that if you are removing a negative number, you have to flip the sign. Now, while explaining this, I was using a term, sure. If you are sure that that particular number is a negative number or a positive number, you have to be sure about it. What, what do I mean by, it? see over here, minus 3. You are absolutely sure that minus 3 is a negative number, right? Or in the previous problem, when you had removed 3, you were absolutely sure that 3 was a positive number. That might not be always true. I'll get back to that a little bit later on. Let's quickly solve this one. So, on the number line, you would be having dots, correct? Because it's a less than or equal to. The roots are same. Right-hand side or the rightmost zone is positive, then negative, then positive, then negative. The curve becomes absolutely same. 
but the solution zones are different. You have to find out the negative zones, right? And of course, equal to the root. So here the solution would be x belongs to, which is the first zone. The first zone is this. And the next zone is this, which is within my requirement. So it becomes x belongs to from minus infinity, 2 to 2 by 3. Minus infinity, minus infinity is always open bracket. But 2 by 3 over here would be a closed bracket. Why? Because x can be equal to 2 by 3. It's a dot or from here, it's a less than or equal to. What is the other zone? Union. 1, 5. Both close brackets because 1 and 5, both of them are included. So this is the solution. Now, once again, let's get back to the uh, statement that I was making. Surety of a number being positive or negative. What does that mean? See, over here, I was sure minus 3 is a negative number. In the previous problem, I was sure 3 is a positive number. So I could remove them by taking care of the sign. When I removed 3, I didn't flip the sign because 3 was a positive number. When I removed minus 3, I flipped the sign from positive to negative. That you have to do. But what if you are not sure of the number, whether it's a positive or negative? Can that happen? It can happen if it is a variable. I would explain that with a problem in the next class. Let's write down this problem. I would straight away get, a, get into a generalized algebraic equation. Okay. Let's say I have 1 by x minus 1 by x minus 1 greater than 0 or greater than equal to 0. Let's say greater than equal to 0. I have to solve this inequality. Here, that concept of surety comes. That concept of surety actually restricts something. If you have understood this class, we would get into the next class where we discuss about this surety and also solve this particular problem. Why don't you also try it and check your solution with my solution in the next class, okay?